What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Enemy here. Welcome you back to another episode of Dang and Robot Trigger Happy Havoc. In the last episode, we took care of a little bit of things. We did some stuffs and things and stuffs and things. And we finished the last trial of, or the, the trial of chapter one, not the last For a trial. Long time, humans have been taught that if you try hard enough, you can accomplish anything. Oh boy. Even if we weren't told this directly. You'd know it just by looking at the world around us. Absolutely. The internet, TV, and newspapers are overflowing with hopeful messages that say exactly that. Mm -hmm. But people who can't win, people who don't try to win, people who try their best and still can't win, they are all worthless trash. There are two kinds of people in this world. Oh, those who are born with worth and everybody else. Boy, no matter how hard a lowly human tries, they will never be the same as someone who was born worthy. They say that effort breeds success, but that's a complete lie. The world is not that accommodating. No matter how hard a small dog tries, it will never become a large dog. No matter how much a penguin tries, there's no way it will ever soar through the sky, which means unworthy humans will never become worthy, no matter what they do. People with talent don't become talented. They're just born with their abilities right from the start. That's right, just like you guys. That's why I have so much respect for you all. Ah, just so you know, what I feel is different from admiration. Admiration is... Wishing you could be like the object of your admiration. But what I feel is not so self-serving. How should I put it? What I feel is more pure. More like a selfless love that wants nothing in return. So, I want you guys to believe me when I say, I don't mind if you kill me. But if that happens, I want you to let me help. I don't care if the killer survives. Or if everyone but the killer survives. I just want both sides to do their very best. I want to see with my own two eyes the absolute hope that lies ahead. Yep, I'm really lucky. Someone as insignificant as me will be there when hope and despair collide and unleash their energy. So please, let me help you. If you're planning to kill me, I would be honored to help you carry out your plan. Like, what did, I don't know what I did like that I got out of frame. Okay. I want you to use me as a stepping stone so everyone can shine. I want you to kill me in a way that befits. Ah. Uh, he's so weird. Oh, shut up. Honestly, facts. I don't know who punched him, but they deserved it. Chapter 2. Sea and punishment. Sin and coconuts. Daily life. Biakia and Teru died last night. An ordeal like that doesn't change the fact that I still get hungry. I learned this firsthand and headed towards the hotel restaurant with a jeery, sullen footsteps. We're all still here, at least. Oh. Ah, hi, Amei. You're already here. Good morning. Yo. Good, good morning. Good morning, Mikan. Just as I thought, the atmosphere in the restaurant was pretty gloomy. But after what had happened yesterday, that is to be expected. Yes. Byakya, who appointed himself our leader, was killed. And the person who killed him was our friend. And that friend was also killed right in front of us. After experiencing something like that, it is impossible not to feel sad. Huh? Hi, you guys don't look so good. Your faces look like you just attended two funerals in a row. Uh, I guess some people don't feel sad. That, that's like, what happened? Baba Yakya and Teru Teru got killed last night. I'm not talking to you, you ugly bitch. Why are you always so mean to me? Still, I understand about Mr. Ham Hands, but there's a reason 
Is there even a reason for any of us to be sad about Terror Terror's death? Hey, hey. What the heck do you mean by that? Hey. Well, he's a crazy guy who killed someone. He totally deserved to die. Hey. I understand how you feel, but I feel like you're going too far. That's weird. Huh? Is it all right to defend a killer? Are you trying to justify murder? No, no that is not my intention, but... Then you gotta hate him more than ever. You gotta hate him more from the bottom of your heart. He's a stupid piece of trash who committed the lowest crime possible and he deserves to get killed. In fact, I'm rather relieved that he was executed. If I could not have, if I could have, I would have totally spat on him too. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, what gives? Does a purry bee baron like you have something to complain about? It's not like that. Well, it's. Not like that, but something smells, don't you think? Uh, <laughs> Again? Don't tell me. It better not be another dead body. Ah, mm. uh, no. This, it's not the smell of blood this time. It just smells really bad. It smells um. bad. It's kind of like a bar where nightclub smells after closing time, you see? Hey, hey, hey. I don't know those smells. I, you must have been had a pretty rough, rough life. I do smell something like... It's like a sewer or running garbage. Hey. I know what it is. It's Nekamaru's breath. It probably stinks like crazy. You know what? I'll let you have this. I should probably defend him about it. But I'll let you have this. I'm being nice. <laughs> You've got me there. She didn't say anything remotely funny just now. No, it's not an Ekamaru. That smell's coming from you. Hi, Yoko. Huh? Whoa, Whoa true. Hi, <laughs> Yoko, you reek. Ugh, a rotten smell stings my eye as if a demonic eclipse is about to commence. You know what? That's more deserved, honestly. Oh, my, my. oh, she's crying? I've said it before, but you guys are really insensitive. Ah, uh, no. It doesn't actually smell that bad. I mean, as long as you breathe with my mouth. As long as I breathe with my mouth. <laughs> like. Are you even taking any baths? <laughs> no. You haven't bathed? I can't help it. I can't tie my kimono sash myself. Hey. Hey. How you go? You don't have to cry so much. I'll tie your sash for you, okay? Really? It's only a simple knot, but if that's okay with you, I can teach you. I love I love you, Mihiro. I'll just give you a kiss. Hey. Hiyoko, you, you don't have to hug me. It appears, <laughs> it appears she's taken a liking to you. <laughs> Welcome to the world of girl love. It's slippery when wet. The air is suddenly not so tense anymore. Well, I guess it's better than being down forever. If I was all by myself, I probably wouldn't have been able to pull or put my feelings aside and move on like this. But I guess I have these guys to thank for that. Um, anyway. What happened to Fuyuhiko and Nagito? It seems like they both are n not here. Ah, oh, now that you mention it, you're right. I saw Fuyuhiko earlier near the hotel. I invited him to breakfast, but he declined. Well, that's just Fuyuhiko being Fuyuhiko, but... Huh? Who cares about Nagito? <laughs> He is cursed. A child who summons misfortune, so to speak. Well, that may be, but... Just letting you know, I don't know anything. No Without hesitation, I don't know anything about Nagito at all. Right. He's right. Forget him. He just forget about that creep already. Huh? They're both obviously acting suspicious, aren't they? Of course not. I'm not suspicious. Hmm, that's right, I'm not suspicious. What's the matter? What's up? Did someone get kidnapped or something? 
You came at just the right time. Hmm? At the right time? No, no, it, it's nothing. I really don't get it, but uh, you must have yearned for me. Your outlook on life has changed due to my cuteness, so my your body can't stand to live without me, huh? I I can't help myself, you know. My body reacts to Monokuma on its own. No. Something like that? Stupid. Who cares about that? Just hurry up and tell us why you're here. Actually. To be honest, I've been searching too. My valued servant has disappeared. Servant? Oh, Monomi. Poor Monomi. You know, one of my mono beasts. One of them just disappeared. Just this big old beast just went away. Gone now. Okie dokie. Um, Monokuma, that's that's great and all, but like, have fun, huh? One of the mono beasts disappeared. Maybe I could cut back the cost of their. Maybe I cut back the cost of their food too much. Perhaps they're boycotting me. But that guy is the weakest of the League of Four. How shameful for a mono beast to lose to a mere human. That's why. That's what you want to say, right? Thought this is merely the prelude. The climax will occur soon after. Now then, let me hear you scream. I shall make such sweet music for you. Hey, Gundam. You should stop playing with that stuffed animal already. <coughs> I'm still being called a stuffed animal? Oh well, looks like you guys don't know anything about the mono beasts either. Then it's a waste of time for me to worry about it. I don't want to go bald from worrying too much. A wise cat bot once told me, our eyes are in f our eyes are on the front so that we can keep moving forward. Monokuma said those familiar sounding words to us. Once again, he disappeared. Hey, what do you think he meant just now? He said something about a mono beast disappearing. Hmm. The only possibility I can think of is... Um, we're even in the middle of something. If so, I can just come back later. Then leave. Yeah. Ah, at least ask me to leave kindly. Hey. Ah, before you leave, I want to ask you something. Did, did you have anything to do with the disappearing mono beast? Ah, yes, that's right. Ta-da! I'm the one who defeated that mono beast. You, you did. Are you serious? Defeating a monster like that? How the hell did you pull that off? <laughs> I'll talk about it in more detail, but on a different note, or in a different mode. Or, or, oh, I'll talk about it in more detail in a different mode. Anyways, I released the bridge gate for you all. Hey, hey. If the bridge gate is open, then that means we can go to a new island across the bridge, right? Is that true? Ah, uh, that's totally right. Now that you can go to more areas, let's all go along and get uh, live a fun life together for sure this time. Living together on this island isn't what's important. We we, we need to find a way a way to escape. Uh, of course, escaping from this island is our main goal. Nobody wants to live in a swashbuckling Hollywood-type action film. I want to live where I can be more average. A life where nothing happens. That's that's better for me. All right. If I can find anything that can be salvaged for both parts, I will let let me know. Let me know immediately. It seems like everyone's united on the path that's different from what I had planned. <laughs> let us disperse. The time has come. The re to release the cursed seal. All right, let's find a way to leave this island. That, that is impossible. What? Leaving this island is no longer possible. No longer possible. Hey, why? What is that? Ah. Uh, hey, hey. Hey, Jaime. Just leave that thing alone already. After all, she is the same as Monokuma. It's better that we get, don't get close that close to her. You're right. To see everyone's attention has shifted towards exploring the new island. Expecting to find something that'll help us escape the situation, everyone fill, filed out of the restaurant. I don't trust this, Mihiru. A new island? Hmm. I should go find some clues, too. Uh, you can't. You promised to you tie my kimono sash. That, th that was... We can do it after we finish exploring the new island. But 
If I don't hurry and go take a bath, they'll call me smelly again. They're gonna bully me. Okay, then let's take a shower first. Yay, we're gonna wash each other. Huh? Wash each other? Hold on. I don't think it's a good idea for me to go in, too. Now, now, we're both girls. No need to be shy. But... Hiyoko pulled Mahira's hand, smelling, smiling like a child before a school trip, and headed towards the cottages, washing each other. I see. Washing each other, huh? Oh, I kind of, I feel bad for hear, hear you, whatever her name is. I can't pronounce her name to save my life. And I'm sorry, there's some names I just can't right now. Well, well I, we haven't locked down the pronunciations yet, um, as you can tell. But I think the biggest thing, explain that Ellen's going to be important. But I don't know how important, you know, because it's like, like my thing, right? And the thing that I'm focused on is, well, Nekamara, but my actual thing that I'm focused on is I, if I were in this situation, yes, exploring is good and leaving exploring to the others is probably not my best interest. But I'd almost wait until the danger passed and then go to the island, you know? Like, I don't know. I mean, obviously, there's a line that has to be drawn in the sand of do I, what do I hold back, right? Because you can technically, you can hold back your partner if you don't let them, you know, do things. And you, and you hold back yourself by not doing said things either. But I don't know. As somebody who traditionally looks at things from a safe angle. I mean, we were just talking about this. Um, I was kind of talking about this with Joy and Charizard. That I play it safe a lot. We were looking at so my Pick'em's records. And I have gone for one alone game in eight weeks out of a hundred and a hundred and and four hundred and six games i've gone for one game that's alone and two five versus two the new island. the ambiance seems different compared to the first island with the hotel well now's not the time for me to make a to make carefree observations there might be a clue that tells us how to leave the island. I need to find him. So, okay, that tells me to go to the central island if I go there. What is here? Oh, Gundam's here. Whoa, you're late. The seal has already been broken. The seal? Is he talking about the bridge? Whatever it is, I don't really... Not that I really care. A burger joint. Okay. The diner. There's a signboard that says diner. I guess I should try going inside. Who's going to be in here? Huh? That looks like... Oh, it's it's you. I'm trying to eat right now, so go away. Buyuhiko suddenly started yelling at me as he held his hamburger in one hand. Wait, hold on. Why is he here? He wasn't at the restaurant. Why does he know about the new island? He probably found out earlier, but, I mean, I'd love to know. I'm gonna bother you, sorry. Hey, why are you here? How'd you find out we can go to this island? Are you a monkey or something? Do you not understand human language? I told you to leave me alone when I'm eating. Hmm. An annoyed person went out of their way to tell me. Annoying person. Then I found this place, and now I'm eating here because I'm hungry. Misery solved. You happy now? So get the heck out of here and go somewhere else. 
Hey, it's about that annoying person. Mind your own business. It's got nothing to do with you. Actually, it, ha it does have it to do with me. I don't know what you're thinking, but we're all here in the situation together. You're not the only one stuck on this island. We have to work together. You should know that by now, too, so... Why are you avoiding us? Hmm. I'm not avoiding you. I've just decided not to rely on anyone. Not to rely on anyone? That includes the Kazu Ryu clan. I can still survive without relying on them. Huh? Hey, are you actually... Don't, Don't get it twisted. I am a Yakuza by blood. It's not like I don't want to head to the family business someday. But I just want to prove that I've earned it. Prove that I can... Prove that I can tough it on my own without relying on my clan. Plus, if I ever fail, the clan will still be able to lie around. My little sister will be happy to lead it. Oh, your little sister? Shut, the hell up. Shut up. Why do you let me bring that up anyway? You, you brought that up upon yourself. Anyway. Anyway, I don't intend to spend any time with you guys. Nothing good can come of it. Nothing good can come of it? Hmm. hmm. Isn't it obvious? In this kind of situation, interacting with others will just shorten your lifespan. Those idiots, Byakuya and Teru Teru, are proof of that. Plus, it'd be frustrating to be held back by affection when it's my time to kill. You're still saying that. Of course. Of course. I'll sacrifice the lives of everyone here if I can guarantee my own survival. Even if you don't actually mean that, you're awful just for saying that. Hmm. You're the one who spoke to me without my permission, so don't get pissed at me. If you're upset, then you don't have to stick around. What the heck? It was stupid of me to talk to the guy like him. Huh. Eh. I wouldn't say it's stupid, but... Because, like, I don't know. I feel like he does have a soft side to him. He just is going to be hard-shelled and not let you into it. Which, you know what? We'll let him do that for now. There will be time for us to not have to worry about it. Chandler Beach. What? Abuki, what did you find? It's probably not a bad thing. It's giving me bad music, but I don't trust it's bad. Oh no, 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 Abuki, are you alright? What happened? This is bad! I'm panicking so much I don't even have time to place my words! What's going on? The, the killing! The killing started again! Huh? Pointing. Look over there! What, what? So I glanced over the beach where Abuki was pointing her finger. That's not killing, that's just fi fighting. This is just Nekamaru training. I don't know what you're talking about, Ibuki. What the heck is this? You, you, you help her. I don't even know why he's fighting this fight, but, you know, huh? had enough. Have you learned your lesson? We're done for. He's done for Nakamaru Naidi's ultimate move with a super body blow. That's instant death. If she's lucky, she'll live another five minutes at best. Jeez. Akane, at your current power level, you cannot even defeat a mere team manager. What are you saying? Why are you guys even fighting in the first place? Hi, Amei. Here's the deal. Right? You don't understand like I do. Apparently. He's showing off. No. In all reality, he just wants to kind of prove that he... I mean, he it kind of is showing off in a way. But, like, it's not really showing off. He wants to help um, Akane, like, reach her true potential. Because that's part of his character. But also, he needs to, you know, he needs to win in order to tell Akane and give hope to Akane uh, that, hey, you can get better and things are going to do this, blah, blah, blah. So, it's like, it's they're not even fighting. It's like, fighting here, I don't understand the word fighting here because it's relative. 
in my opinion, fighting here is relative. There, I mean, it's what it, I don't know the word, but like when it's like when two people who are jousting, the like, or is that joust when you like have the metal rod? Anyway, what is it? What is the word for that? And it's like practice. Oh, that's gonna bother me. Anyway, it's like that. Where they're practicing to become better, but they're not intending on hurting each other. Huh? This isn't a fight. Exactly. What did I say? Hi, May. You don't understand him. It's what you get, buddy. It's a one-sided beatdown. It's not even that. That that sounds even worse. The rules of the school trip are clearly stated. Except, except excessive violence is prohibited. What violence? This is not a real fight. We're training. But it looked like a real fight. That's the point. Hi, I am. I am so. Our main character doesn't understand this. Ah, uh, I'm a team manager. There's no way I'd be able to fight for real. We both agreed that to this training session, so I'm not violating any rules at all. Even so, why is the sudden interest in training? It's not even sudden. It's not even a sudden interest. I'm sorry, but he's the team manager. Akane is a very athletic woman, and definitely somebody who would fit the picture of somebody he would train. What are you even talking about, Hayame? Ugh, I gotta. If I gotta admit it. Ah, she's alive? She's not a weakling who'd get killed by my weak blow like that. He he looked pretty strong, so I couldn't help but get excited. Though, I thought... Uh, sparring! That's the word I was looking for. Oh my god. That I'm so glad that the game gave it to me. Th thanks, Akane. Thanks for giving me the word that I would have been so mad if I didn't understand her again. I thought sparring would help me burn off some of this energy, but I lost. More importantly, there's a lot of strong dudes in this world, huh? Aww. What a bunch of battle-loving troublemakers. Akane, you seem... It seems you're the type who learns through actions rather than words. So I shall give you one piece of advice. How you use your body and muscles, your positioning, and your timing, it's all half-assed. You're not utilizing your ultimate gymnast talent well at all. Basics. Make sure you understand the basics, and you'll be always you'll always be second rate if you rely on your instincts. Damn it! Shut up. If you understand what I just said, comes. If you understand what I just said, come see me. When the time comes, I will fight you once again. You better not forget what you just said. My desire to win is pretty crazy, after all. I won't give up until I beat you. With wobbling steps, the Kanai left the beach. However, if she fought that fiercely with just her own style, how ominous. My hands are still numb. Uh, leaving that on the table. Girl, she's probably gonna get even stronger. That's the point, Abuki. That's literally his job, is to make people have hope. To give people the motivation to get stronger, to be better. You almost understand him now. Wow. Yeah, you're probably right. I love that. Okay. <laughs> I love him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But like, because we're anytime we see Nakamaru, you just realize that if you see Nakamaru in the episode, it's gonna be like the rest of the episode. You just gotta. We gotta live with that. We gotta live with that. Just, I'm sorry. Um, I love how he says that. Because he's, like, comforting Ibuki's obvious statement here. But, like, what kind of conversation is this? It's called the Nobody Understands the Dude in the Back, Mr. Nekamaru. And it makes me mad. You two. The basics are the foundation for everything. No, I get that, but... Training that resembles an actual fight might be fun. But just be careful not to get hurt, both of you. Injuring an athlete would be a disgrace to me as a team manager. Ex, ex, freaking, exactly. Okay, like, 
guys, y'all are like, don't hurt her, don't mess with her, don't do this, do blah, 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 blah. This is literally his job. Just let him do his job, okay? Like, it's not like he did it unprompted or anything. Oh, you can fight me anytime. Um, the more you fight, the stronger you get. That's what being a battle lover is all about. What kind of conclusion is that? Um, a non-conclusion. A, I'm gonna guess what the lesson here is. Even though I don't know the actual lesson. Like, Ibuki. Come on, honey. You can't be doing this. Like, and she, like, screamed. Like, something bad was happening. And they're like, oh my god, the killing game, the killing game, the killing game. It's like, no. Just, ah. I thought it was a beach house. Since... It's near the edge of the beach. It looks pretty luxurious. I guess it's a celebrity style beach house. Yo. Hey, doesn't this feel awesome? It's like a celebrity pad or something. The shower is out of order, but the ambiance is nice and the fridge is stocked with loads of drinks. <laughs> ah, plus the beach outside, it feels so private. It's awesome. Compared to the urban areas, seas that are all full of trash and debris, this place is completely different. The only ones on this island anyway. We're the only ones on this island anyway, so if everywhere we go is kind of a private hey, beach. Hey. hey, hey, don't shatter my dreams like that. More importantly, why don't we splash around at, the pri at this private beach? Awesome. Totally awesome. Splashing around is such a gorgeous beach. It's really the best. He is his usual happy-go-lucky lucky, happy -go -lucky self. Well, I guess that is one of his good qualities. I wonder if Miss Sonia would come too. I want to see Miss Sonia in a bikini. It's here! Why not? Are you trying to interfere with my love affair with Miss Sonia? Changing in the beach house is prohibited. It would be bad and if shameful peeking occurred. Ah, uh, so you mean changing here is not allowed, not going to the beach itself. Then I'll just have to come after changing. And I'm never going to give up. You might let her down, though. Anyway... Breaking the rules is not allowed. Also, playing is fine, but please focus on your studies, too. You guys? Why do you have a Gatlin gun? Monokuma, put the gun down. Where? Where's the rule breaker? I'll beat the crap out of them. No questions asked. Ah, he's here. Y y you, what are you holding? A, a, a machine gun, obviously. Rule breakers will be shot to death. That's just common sense. Hey, hey, hey. It's common sense where it's not like we're under a military dictatorship or anything. Uh, I want to shoot something. I know I'm not allowed to, but like, I really want to shoot something right now. Ah. Control yourself, Monokuma. I have iron willpower, so I'll endure it no matter the cost until the day someone breaks the rules. Um... um as you can see, it's very dangerous, so please refrain from changing at the beach house. Uh. Well, that's totally bizarre. Man, they're annoying. Yeah, I feel you. I feel all tired all of a sudden. Looks like this is the shower room. There's a notice on the door. Judging by the illustration, it looks like they're being repaired and under construction or something like that. There's a lot of drinks, the water, the coffee, and all the stuff. Can we get a drink for free? Nope. Looks like this is the closet. Um, the inside. Looks like it's a small storage room. It's almost like a walk-in closet. There's surfboards arranged on the shelf, but I'm not surfing into surfing, so it doesn't really matter to me. Ah, which reminds me. When we mentioned Nagito at the restaurant, Kazuichi looked pretty unsettled about something. I guess I should ask him about it. Ah, which reminds me, I had something I had to ask you. Huh? What? Well, it's about Nagito. Uh, I haven't seen that guy all day. Do you even know where he is? Oh, I haven't, I haven't seen that guy all day. Do you, do you know where he is? Well. I, I, I don't know. Seriously, don't ask me. Who cares about that crazy ass bastard anyway? We need to search this island first and foremost. There might actually be a way to escape. So let's just end all the annoying talk right here. That's it. All done. 
handed his conversation very forcefully. Forcibly, just as I thought, he's definitely hiding something. Where would you like to go? Um, as much as I want to go to the beach right now to see my mans, I shouldn't. Honestly, half of me wants to end the episode there, but I actually wonder if that's a good idea. Because I feel like there's a lot more that's yet to be seen. Yeah, I'm going to do it. We saw Nick and Marger, so that's what matters. But And now we know we're going to have an episode we don't see him. So in the next episode of Danganronpa 2, Good by Despair, we're going to continue investigating the second island, see what it has in store, talk to everybody, figure out where Nagido is. Even though we don't really care about the man, we probably should go find him because we don't need another death on our hands. Anyways, thank you guys again so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.